Hi, I'm Paul Pressman. Welcome to El Marisol Villas. My partner Bruce and I bought the hotel in 2000. Uh, we're here now 23 years. Uh, the property was so intriguing to us when we first came out on vacation. Uh, it's the Howard Hughes property. It was built in 1947, the original 10 bungalows. And in 1980, the north side of the property was annexed on and gave us a total of 15 rooms. So the property has gone through a series of renovations since we bought it back in 2000. A major renovation happened in 2000, followed up in 2002, and again in 2012 and 14. Bruce and I are the eighth owners of El Marisol since it became the first gay hotel in Palm Springs in 1975. El Marisol Villas is a clothing optional resort that caters to gay men. The property has two swimming pools. One we just redid last summer and it is a saltwater pool. We have a jacuzzi. The charm of the property is its amazing gardens, which was an attraction to the two of us when we were looking for hotels. It's so unique and unlike most of the other mid-century properties here, because it gives you an older sort of Spanish style 1940s vibe with lots of gardens, citrus trees, bougainvillea, cactus, succulents, throughout the property, which gives it a softening feeling for our guests to just kind of lay and hang out and enjoy the property. Well, over the years, as we've done renovations and some remodeling, we always tried to keep the integrity of what was originally here in the late 1940s uh, and not make it all disappear. Uh, that was the importance of coming here in the first place and finding this gem that was all by itself. It was the only property here in this whole neighborhood for years until the 1950s. Uh, we are the entrance to Warm Sands neighborhood and uh, it was an enclave of many gay hotels starting after us. We have 15 rooms on the property. There are five different room types, however. All our rooms have king beds. All our rooms have refrigerators and microwaves for, for the guests. We have one bedroom suites, which have a single bedroom, separate bedroom and living room with a kitchen and its own private patio. Our largest room is our two bedroom bungalow suite, which are two adjoining king rooms that share a common living room space with each having its own bathroom, each having its own front and back patio for your separate space if you wanna sit outside, enjoy the sun, or if you wanna just have a cocktail on your patio. The bungalows all have their own patios, which open up to our heated saltwater swimming pool. On the north side of the property, we have our common space, which we have coffee and tea service in the morning for all the guests, but it's a great space that we get together if we do any little social get-togethers in the evening or on holiday times at Pride or Fourth of July or Memorial Day. In the winter, there's a fireplace that's the original fireplace from the 1950s, which is fun just to sit around, meet other guests, talk to each other. El Marisol Villas was built in 1947 by Howard Hughes mainly to really entertain his Hollywood friends. He wanted to bring Elizabeth Taylor to the desert. Whether that's true or not, we're not really sure, but there's stories that are told that Jane Mansfield and Marilyn Monroe, Jane Russell, were all part of Howard's girls that used to come to the desert. In 1950 or 51, the Howard sold the property and it became a hotel. It's had a series of names over the years, all with El Mirasol in it. We found some great old stationery from uh, back in the early 50s where it was El Mirasol Lodge, and then it was El Mirasol Bungalows, but it's been El Mirasol Villas for the longest time. El Mirasol, the name, is loosely translated. Uh, we've been told it means sunflower, but sunflower actually isn't girasol. So they translated it loosely to bring in the sunflower theme. And if you look in our guest rooms, all the headboards in all the rooms have a sunflower motif. Two sides of the property, our south side and our north side. And the north side, we tried to keep the integrity more of a desert scape where you'll be able to walk through our gardens and our paths where there's wonderful cactus and succulents and shade trees as well. Some flowering, some not flowering, but all plants that belong here in the desert. When you move to the more bungalow side of the property, we kept it a little bit more lush, mostly with shade trees and flowering bougainvilleas, and that's the side of the property that is full of citrus trees, which we 
love to have in the fall when they're all in bloom. We share them with our guests. We let the guests come in. They always ask me, can we take the fruit? Can we take the lemons? Can we take the oranges? Can we take the grapefruits? Of course, I would be happy that they enjoy them while they're here. Great to sit outside and smell the Arabian jasmine in the warm summer nights. It just gives you this fragrance wafting in the air. In the late fall, early spring, when all the citrus is in bloom, it's the same feeling. You know, it just comes here and there's just a fragrance that you can't experience other places. And it's great to sit out on your patio and just listen to the birds and smell the fragrance wafting through. I mean, when you come to El Mirasol Villas and you stay with us, we, we are family. We are private owners. Bruce and I own the place. We invite you into our property, but we want it to be your property while you're here. And so we like to interact with the guests. You'll find me talking at the pool with guests. I love to give them information about town, what's going on in, in Palm Springs. Palm Springs is amazing and it's changed drastically over the years in a good way. We have guests from all different age groups that come, but we want them to feel comfortable here and part of our family. So our office is always open to talk to people, to give them information, to give them directions of where to go, whether it's going to the canyons for hiking, whether it's going up to the tram, whether it's just hanging in downtown Palm Springs or going over to Arenas Road. That's kind of our thing. Our staff, miraculously and luckily for us, has been with us, some of them, for over 15 years and they're part of it. So people come back and they know who we are and they know who the housekeeping staff is and they know who our management staff is in addition to us. So it's like coming back and coming home. I hope you really liked my little tour through the, through the property. El Mirasol is very special to us. I hope it was very special to you and I hope to see you here soon.